up, guys? I'm here with Daniel Ramirez Medina, a.k.a. Slumpy hey. Slump God. Slump oh, God. my God. All right, hey. so what did you do this last weekend? Uh, I won. Like, like, won the whole thing. I won with uh, the OTS Championship over at Shane's... Uh, Shane's Sports Cards? Shane's, Shane's, Shane's Big League. Yeah, yeah, the Sh one right in Washington. Yeah. 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 And uh, I won with uh, Treasure Panda Exodia. Oh, snap. <laughs> Treasure Panda. Is that no FTK deck? Yeah. Uh, I mean... Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Just draw, just draw Exodia. Yeah. Uh, so right. the the main point of this deck, uh, huge shout out to Georgie. Uh, back in March, I want to say, we built this deck and we kind of like worked on it. And then um, I decided just to play it because I was, you know, I just recently got second place uh, with the Dark Goki. And I was like, I don't want to play a competitive deck. I just want to play for fun. Um, and if people lose to me, they don't deserve their invite. <laughs> and uh, I ended up winning the whole thing. Um, so I played a fun deck, and soon, uh, you know, as it showed, like deck building was perfect, and I was able to win the whole thing. Sounds good. Let's get to that deck. All right. So first off, we're gonna start off with three treasure panda. For you guys that don't know what this is, you know, huge shout out to TN for signing my pandas. Ooh, baby. Mm, look how sexy those are. Oh. So uh, treasure panda says you can banish up to three spell trap cards. Uh, from your graveyard face down, you special one one normal monster whose level is the uh, same amount equal to the, the ones you banished. So you special a bunch of vanillas in this deck, um, and it's not once per turn, so you can just keep doing it over and over and over again. Um, so that's pretty broken. Uh, and in order to get to your treasure pandas, you also play three summoner monks. Uh, you're playing 18 monsters in the main with uh, 22 spells, so you're always drawing at least one or two spells with this. Um, so it's, it's pretty standard. Uh, it's also on alert target. Um, your win condition is the Exodia. Exodia, the forbidden oh, just, one. Uh, oh. Just do this real quick. Uh, oh. You know we're obliterating. Um, oh, we're obl we obliterating this girl on this token. That's yeah, what oh, right here. Ooh. Panda squirt. Oh. Oh. Um, uh, but these are a bunch of vanillas you first off with Treasure Panda. Uh, this you send off of uh, Shooting Rising Dragon, which I'll show you guys uh, in the extra deck here in a sec. Uh, and then you play two in here, so you play two Flame Vault Guard and one Water Spirit. Uh, I decided to play two and one, uh, mainly because I didn't want to play the prize card in this deck. Uh, I was thinking about doing it, but then it ended up being like a more of a brick if I was playing three Flame Vault Guard with it. And uh, you also want different names for Saruja as well. Um, and then you play two BLS. I decided to play two instead of three because I didn't have enough room. And two was perfect. Um, I drew the, I needed to draw at least one or either or of them. Uh, sometimes you would make a Saruja with the first one and get to the second one. Because um, you had to in order to draw more consistent. Uh, Fairy Tale Snow to get to your win condition. Um, and then for the last monster with the new spells is uh, one Toon Cannon Soldier and three Toon Table of Contents. Uh, this is pretty much so that you can cycle through your deck easier, uh, get some more spell cards for Treasure Panda, and he's an alert target, and he also uh, burns in, uh, in time. Uh, three into the voids, because you're trying to draw like, your, whole, your whole deck. Uh, three alert of darkness, again you're trying to draw through your whole deck. Uh, you can banish Exodia and everything and still get to your condition. Um, for your win condition, you play two Primal Seed. So this card says if you have BLS or BLS Envoy, or the, the Campus Emperor Dragon, which is still banned. Um, if you have either or of them, you can add two cards that are banished to your hand. If so, uh, the combo is pretty much you use Fairy Tale Snow to banish your other Primal Seed uh, from your grave and uh, an Exodia piece, and you add the Primal Seed back as well as another Exodia piece, and then you get rid of the snow by like synchroing or linking in Saruja, and then you just keep uh, looping it. I don't know why they ever brought that back to two. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, they're just like, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and make, uh, let us have yeah. more FTKs. Thanks, Kanan. <laughs> uh, one reasoning, one monster gate. Again, you're playing at a bunch of levels, um, and you just want to mill spell cards or treasure panda anyways. Uh, some people are really bad, and uh, they'll call level one. <laughs> you always want to call level four with this in this deck. Uh, so just know that just because I have more level ones does not mean you should be calling level one. Maybe they think you're playing uh, Decatron. Yeah, <laughs> it maybe it's in for annoyance. Uh, we played one instant fusion, uh, just one an extender. Uh, lets you bring on Millennium Eye so you can uh, resolve uh, Treasure Panda without having to worry about hand traps. Uh, the broke back cards play the Tri Right, Reborn, and Soul Charge, Skill Charge. You can shoot, huge shout out to Rob. 
for this mini sprint one. Uh, it's so good. Uh, the thing I didn't notice uh, until I think it was like the top eight is that you can use try right more than once per turn. So you can just keep adding it again. Like if you if you primal seed this and you add it to your hand, you can just keep drawing more cards. So this card's broken. I don't know why I only played one. Uh, Foolish Burial, because you want to send Snow, and sometimes you want to send the Exodia ahead. Uh, upstart, uh, one day, you know, draw cards. Uh, and then I played one Knowledge. I didn't play the Secrets because I didn't want to brick um, by drawing the Secrets after the Knowledge, so I decided just to play the one-off. And then the Big Daddy card, which let me like discard so many hand jobs this weekend, was the card destruction. Thank oh, God this snap. card came back. This card's so insane. It lets you play through hand traps. It lets you mull again. Like this card does everything. I don't know why we got this back. Uh, for the extra deck, you play three Saruja. Again, you're trying to draw cards. You really want to get to this. Um, you play double Link Spider with Mysis Radiant. Because off of Treasure Panda, you want to make these two so you have two zones. Uh, so you can Synchro Summon, otherwise you're going to Saruja first turn. Uh, for the Synchros, you play three Formula Synchron, and you're playing level ones, and you're making this all day. So good. I don't know why we got this at three again, too. <laughs> uh, I decided to only opt in at one TG Hyper Librarian. A uh, huge shout out to Jordan Anchor. He let me get the Skull Dread. Uh, otherwise, I would have been playing two of this because it's at two now. But I felt like this was perfect. Uh, one was like absolutely necessary just to just, just play one instead of two. Uh, for sixes, I played one Coral Dragon and one Charge Warrior. Uh, sometimes you had a tuner, sometimes you didn't. Uh, so sometimes you went the other way around, so it really depends on your hand. But both of these cards let you draw cards, and this lets you pop another card too. Uh, I played Omega for the, the level eight. It's at one, so you only play one, and it just it lets you cycle back. Um, if you go into Reasoning of Monster Gate and you mill your BLS, you use Omega to put it back and you just keep drawing into it. And then the final card, probably the most broken card that I realized that we could play now, which is legal, is Shooting Riser Dragon. For you guys that don't know, it lets you uh, send a card from the deck to the graveyard. And then it, uh, the card that you send can't be used until the end of the next turn. So you use this to send your Exodia piece so that it's a level 4 and then you special Snow and Synchro into Omega. Um, you can also just use this to uh, deck then throughout your deck as well. Um, so that's it for the extra deck. This, oh, and the last card in the extra deck yeah, the was the Millennium Eyes for the Instant Fusion. Uh, for the side deck, this is what really got me there. I'm actually really glad I cited this engine. It was super last second. I was trying to find a consistent way to keep drawing cards, but also not ruin my own engine. So I decided to play the Danger engine. Uh, I played three Bigfoot, three Nessie, and two Jack Frost. No, yeah, Jack Jackalope. Jackalope. Uh, this searches for these. This pops cards, this specials, these. Like, they're all really good. Yeah. Um, it's insane against Altergeist because it's hard for them to get over this because if they bounce into your hand, you're like, okay, I'm either going to draw a card or I'm going to search. Again. Yeah, so it's like, it's free against Altergeist, uh, which I played in top eight. Um, and then I played uh, three drag down. Uh, this is also for going first, uh, games two and three, because people would set hand traps against me. Uh, but it's also good going second against like Altergeist and a bunch of other matchups. Uh, and then I played, <laughs> this card was a spice. I crush carded so many people with just like Zodia pieces. Like it was just so free. Uh, and people didn't see this coming. They're like, oh, he's just a combo deck. And then for the MVP of this weekend for my side deck, I'm gonna say it was three slash draw. So this card was insane. It let me cycle through my deck, shuffle back my BLS copies and keep going on. Uh, I was also able to keep playing uh, like throughout my danger engine, I was able to shuffle it back, and this card is pretty much an avarice or it's game. Um, and I gamed one person through slash draw once this weekend. Um, so that's the deck. I went, uh, went X01 in Swiss. And then one out the top. And then, and then one out the top with the uh, treasure panda. Oh. Um, so yeah, that's the deck profile. If you guys have any questions, you guys are more than feel. Can, uh, are more than welcome to ask me questions on stream at twitch.tv slash elchicanito. Uh, link will probably be in the description. Um, I'm streaming weekly about four hours a day. So just let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll be on stream the whole time. Shout outs? Uh, yeah, shout -outs? Ooh, huge shout out to, uh, to Georgie again for making the deck. Uh, shout out to Jordan Anchor for letting me borrow the tune tables in here, which is sexy. Uh, and the Saruja. Uh, shout out to Paul for letting me borrow a uh, storage as well. Uh, shout out to, of course, Imperium and Genesis, you already know. Mm. Best sponsor. Uh, shout out to Javi and Tian, you know, best owners in the game. 
Um, you know it. Shout out to the whole team, to the whole squad, OCC, everybody. You guys know who you are. The Mr. On Loa over, over there. there. Rob Loa. Mr. Loa giving me that soul charge. Mm. What's up, baby girl? <laughs> uh, and uh, since I didn't shout him out last video, even though I said everybody from Oli, I'm gonna shout out uh, Willie and Pono. You already know. Uh, there's a uh, there's that guy. Oh, Pono, I, part of Genesis. Oh, oh. Hey, where's your jersey, fool? I'm just kidding. It's all good. Okay. We, we gotta he's, keep it clean. He's, keep he's, it he's still pimping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So yeah, like I, like I said, twitch.tv slash Chicanito. Make sure to check me out on stream. And see you guys later. All right, we're out.